Shalom. Kahlayla Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakan Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of great wisdom. Coming back at you with another lesson. Will a man rob God? Will a man rob God? So the Bible says that we are purchased with a price. We are purchased with the blood of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, our Lord and Savior. Nothing in this world is free. So if we are purchased with the blood of a great man, the Messiah, then what better than to try to do the work? Feed the flock of the Most High, whom he hath purchased with his blood through Yahweh Shai. Let's play a little bit of this video. And this is Elder Apostle Tahar. Let's continue. And there's levels to being an Israelite. There's Jake's out there, they know that they're Israelites, but they ain't doing the work. You got Israel out there, then you got the apostles. You know, you got the disciples. I'm, when I say apostles, I'm talking about the apostles in, in the scriptures. You know, Peter, James, John, the apostle Paul. They were chosen men, and that's why they, they were on fire. And we use them as an example. Anyway, so what I did was I, look, I looked up the word heathen. I was going to go to Gentile, but I said, let me go to the word heathen. So, the Most High is going to save his servants. Who are his servants? Or we're going to break that down on who the servants are. Servants mean you're serving which means you're doing the work. That's the elect. Just to know that you're an Israelite and ignoring the Bible, then that does not make you amongst the hopeful elect. Let's go into it. Let's go here. Let's go to the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 8. The book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have ye robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Let's read it again. Malachi 3, verse 8. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. So we offer up ourselves as a living sacrifice. I'm not going to give it away. Let's go into that word offering. Offering comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 8641. Terumah. Terumah. Terumah, contribution, offering, an offering to God. Let's go to, let's go from there. Romans 12. Romans 12. <clears throat> See, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. That's an offering. 
offering up ourselves as a living sacrifice. Let's read it again. Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So who's doing the service of the Lord? His elect. That service. Matter of fact, let's go from there to Isaiah 44. Yeah, let's go right here to verse 2. <clears throat> the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Yeshuan, whom I have chosen. Servant does service teaching, preaching, prophesying, and being obedient to our, that's our sisters. So this is telling you the answer, who his salvation is for, his elect that are doing the service of the Most High. Let's go into that word servant. Isaiah 44, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Yeshuan, whom I have chosen. And if I'm not mistaken, that Yeshuan in Hebrew is Yaza, 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 um, how do you say it? Uh, Yazo, Yazawan, oh, Yazayawan, Yazayawan, which means seed of the power, seed of the power, which is Israel. Okay, let's go into this word servant. So that's doing or performing a service. And that's his elect. The elect is obedient to this word. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 5650. Evid. 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 So, we are prisoners of hope. Prisoners for Yahweh Shai's sake. Let's go to, um, I think it's Second Timothy. One, verse eight. I said Second Timothy, but I typed in First Timothy. Second Timothy. One, verse eight. See right here. We looked up the word servant. 2 Timothy 1, verse 8. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. So we are prisoners of hope. Prisoners of hope. Servants. That means we're coming back to his word and doing the work. Testimony. Testimonies are nested with the spirit of Bible prophecy pursuant to Revelations 19, verse 10. Okay, let's keep going. So that's why he says, fear not, thou servant Jacob. He's talking about the elect of the house of Jacob. 
go from there to Psalm 74. So we are purchased with a price. Psalm 74, verse 2. Remember thy congregation which thou hast purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed this Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. <coughs> so who did he redeem? He redeemed Israel. Let's read it again. So we're redeemed, which means to purchase or buy back. We're purchased by the blood of Yahweh Shai. Let's go there first. Acts 20, verse 27. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. So we feed the flock by the word. The word is called the bread of life and the fountains of living water. So we're purchased by the blood of the Lamb, the Son of the Most High. Psalm 74, verse 2. <clears throat> Remember thy congregation which thou hast purchased of old, the rod of thine inheritance which thou hast redeemed, this Mount Zion wherein thou hast dwelt. Mount Zion, that's Israel. Mount Zion is his memorial or monument. Because he will never forget or forsake his people. Comes from the Hebrew to Zion. So we are his purchased possession or married unto him. Ephesians 1 Let's go to verse 17. Well, we got to go up to verse 16. Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayer, praying for the congregation of Israel, which starts with his elect. Verse 17. That the God of our Lord, Yahushai Hamashiach, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and that and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. See, so this, this truth is compared to riches, a hidden treasure. So we are enlightened through the spirit of understanding, the gift through the Holy Spirit. Another key point I wanted to get here. Let's go up. Let's go to verse 14. Ephesians 1, verse 14. Well, we got to go to 13. In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation in whom also that ye believe, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So the Holy Spirit is precious. It is a gift to the anointed ones. Starting with Yahweh Shai, followed by the remnant of the elect. That's what makes the elect precious, valuable, because the elect possess this wisdom. 
So we are entrusted with the Lord's money in layman's terms. He is entrusting us to be his brokers on the earth, his ambassadors, his stockholders. We are the stockholders of the Lord, the sons of Jacob, elect. See, Ephesians 1 verse 13. In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of his glory. We are a purchase prize, the treasure and the apple of his eye, his elect that have this precious knowledge and the gift of understanding. Let's read verse 14 again, which is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. How do we praise him? By singing unto the Lord a new song. What's that? This full doctrinal truth. We are a purchased possession, the Lord's treasure. Why? Because we have this wisdom. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 4. Maybe I missed it. One moment. Right here. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse six. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, have shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of so we're giving charity, paying back the most high through the light of knowledge and wisdom. Let's read that again. That's why the old song, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. That means teach the word, be instant in season and out of season. And that voice is to the sons of men, the elect of the house of Jacob. So this is a commandment. <clears throat> Let's read it again. <clears throat> Second Corinthians 4, verse 6. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Amashiach Yahweh Shai. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. So this is a gift from on high, an anointing oil of understanding, the unction to know all things pertaining to the scriptures. So we have to properly invest that into the minds of the hopeful elect, not sit on this precious treasure. That's how we started with this. Malachi 3, verse 8. Will a man rob God? 
yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings, not offering up ourselves as a living sacrifice. Look at the title of this, Dedicated Service. Romans 12 and 1 again. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So that servant's service goes back to servant, prisoners of hope, the elect, are doing the service of the Most High. What about our sisters? Let's go to, um, John, let's go to John 6 and 27. The book of John. So there are also, also ladies of the hopeful elect. John 6 and 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him have God the Father sealed. The anointed ones are sealed. Elect. Verse 28. Then said they unto him, What shall we do? that we might work the works of the Most High. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, This is the work of the Most High, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. And we all know the scripture. How do you believe? The Bible says, If you love him, keep his commandments. And I'm quoting or paraphrasing that. That's how we know that we love him. Go to second, first Corinthians seven. So the servants of the Lord are his elect of Jacob. First Corinthians seven, verse 22. For he that is called in the Lord being a servant in the Lord's free men. Let's read it again. 1 Corinthians 7, verse 22. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's freeman. Likewise, also, he that is called, being free, is Hamashiach's servant. Can't get around it. Or the servants, those that are doing the service of the Lord. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Elect. Why, Lord? Let's go to verse 23. Ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. So we are to feed the flock of the Lord's purchased possession that we read in Ephesians 1, verse 14. So we rob the Most High and Yahweh Shai if we don't pay back by teaching and preaching, by teaching and preaching. To preach means to prophesy, which means to say before. Can't get around that word servants. That means doing the service of God. Let's read verse 23 again. <clears throat> ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. Brethren, let every man wherein he is called therein abide with the Most High. Now concerning virgins. Oh, that's all we need from there. So we abide in the house of the Lord by teaching those are the hopeful elect following the house of David. 
So who's doing the service of the Lord? Let's, go, let's close out here. Because we read the definition of that word servant goes back to service of God. Who's doing the service of God? Apostles, prophets, elders, teachers, his anointed ones, elect, and the beloved ladies of the hopeful elect following the house of David in truth and sincerity. So the servants are doing the service of the Most High. These are the elect sons of Jacob. Let's go to verse 1, Romans 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great, verse 2, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So this is all about the bloodlines of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's where the promises of immortality and the kingdom of heaven is promised to. The Israelites. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. Israelites, now we know that's the elect that are doing the service of the Most High, the service of God, prophets, apostles, teachers, elders, and those following the tabernacle of David. All the covenants, all the promises of the kingdom of heaven. Let's go into this word, service of God. Goes back to servant, I bet. That's why he says, fear not, thou servant Jacob, O my servant Jacob. He's talking to the elect of Israel. Service comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 2999, Latria. Latria. To perform sacred service. Service or ministration. A service of the Most High. Service and worship of God according to the requirements of the Levitical law. Did we not read that? Tithes and offerings, making ourselves a living sacrifice. So we cannot get out of doing the work. There's no getting around it. That's how we can rob the most high. So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. Matter of fact, we got to get one more. Second Timothy 4. See? Second Timothy 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Can't get around teaching the word. And his voice is to the sons of men, a house of David, a house of Jacob, elect. Will a man rob God? Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, or Kakadash. 
double honors and respect to the others and apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect to the hopeful elect of the house of Jacob. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Rock a thumb. Kwame Yasharala. And abide babao. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.